हेलो चिल्ड्रेंस वेलकम बैक माय चैनल एवरीथिंग लर्न एकेडमी टुडे वी आर गोइंग क्लास फिफ्थ साइंस चैप्टर वन रिप्रोडक्शन इन प्लांट टॉपिक रिप्रोडक्शन बाय सीड नंबर वन पार्ट्स ऑफ सीड नंबर टू जर्मिनेशन ऑफ सीड सीड डिस्पर्जल डियर चिल्ड्रेंस यू नो दैट वी ऑल डिपेंड्स ऑन प्लांट्स टू सर्वाइव दे हेल्प अस इन मैनी वेज दे गिवज अस फूड टू ईट मेडिसिन ऑक्सीजन टू ब्रीथ एंड फाइबर फॉर मेकिंग क्लोथ्स दे फोर प्लांट्स आर कॉल्ड अवर ग्रीन फ्रेंड्स सो वी शुड ग्रो मोर एंड मोर प्लांट्स एंड टेक केयर ऑफ दैम चिल्ड्रेंस डू यू नो द मोस्ट प्लांट्स प्रोड्यूस लार्ज नंबर ऑफ सीड्स दीज सीड्स जर्मिनेट एंड ग्रो इन टू न्यू प्लांट new plants also grow from other parts of plants like stem roots and leaves so in this chapter we will learn how new plants grow from seed and other parts of plants so first we learn the structure of a seed a seed consists of the following parts like seed coat baby shoot cotyledons baby root baby plants embryo The thick outer covering of a seed is called seed coat. On removing the seed coat, we can see two parts attached together. These are called seed leaves or cotyledons. Now we will learn about embryo. There is a small greenish appearance which is the beginning of a baby plant is called embryo. Embryo. Now we will learn about cotyledons. Food for the baby plant is stored in cotyledons. For the time embryo does not grow its leaves and root, it gets its food from cotyledons. Children, you know that when seed gets enough water, air and sunlight, they grow into new plants. The growth of a baby plant within a seed to from seedling is called germination. In the beginning of germination, Each seedling gets its food from the cotyledons. Pores in the soil allow air to reach the seed. The roots come out first and grow downwards into the soil. Later the shoot comes out and grows upwards towards sunlight. After using up the food stored in cotyledons, seedling gets water and nutrients from the soil. Newly formed leaves prepare the food for the plant. Now we will learn about dispersal of seed. The scattering of seed away from the mother plant is called dispersal of seed. Plants are fixed to ground and cannot move from one place to another. If all seeds fall near a parent plant and start germination then they will not get enough light, water and space to grow. Ways of dispersal of seed There are four main ways by which plants disperse their seed naturally. Seed dispersal by wind, dispersal by water, dispersal by animal, dispersed by explosive mechanism. Dispersal by wind. Some plants have very small and light seeds. These seeds also have wings or hair. When wind blows, they are easily carried away from the parent plant. Examples madder, hepatage and cotton seed are dispersed by wind. Dispersal by water. The seed of lotus are spongy while the coconut seeds have fibrous covering. These features help them to float on water. They get dispersed to flower of place and water current. Dispersal by animals. Children, you know that animal and human beings eat fruits like apple mango and watermelon etc and throw away their seeds these seeds on getting favorable condition and grow into new plants dispersal by explosion children you know that some fruits burst open or explode when they become dry the force of explosion helps the seed to scatter in all condition This is called dispersal by explosion. Example: poppy, pea, and blossom seed get dispersed by explosion. Okay, viewers, thanks for watching this video and subscribe my channel. Press the bell icon. Thank you.